Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Exploring in Minecraft. <laughs> or actually, Validus the Exploring episode. Well, guys, I want to do a bit of a different something today. Uh, for the Exploring episodes, what I want to do is explore and have uh, the Minecraft map exploration going on in the background. But I also want to read some comments with you guys that have been posted on my videos recently and just go through them with you guys <laughs> on the video. I think that would be really, really cool. And um, so, yeah. Also, if we see any cool uh, terrain coming up, I'll, like, uh, I'll be sure to mention it. Like this seems to be, actually. Whoa. That's a very unusual... Hello. Ouch. Okay, that, that, that was not meant to happen. Um, okay. Let me just make an emergency landing here quickly, because, oh my gosh, that is amazing. When are they floating? I, ow, ow, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to, oh. Really? Really? Alright, guys, so I finally managed to uh, save my stuff, stuff over here. So, yeah, managed to get back to the amazing floating island. And, uh... Let's uh, keep on going, shall we? Let's try and get to the top of this island. It's not often that you get amazing floating islands like this in Minecraft these days. It's actually really, really cool. If I hadn't already picked the spot where I was going to build, I'd definitely build something up here. But I might actually come here and build something anyway. It's just really that awesome. But yeah, guys, let's get to our first comment over here. So we've got a Mr. David Beak. And he says over here, I recently decided to give up anime. I feel that I'm in a regular. Sh I feel that in regular show and anime, no matter how old or new, the amount of nudity and edgy scenes or topics that pop up really cause me to long for the wrong things and lust after women. I know many people struggle with pornography, but I find that after cutting out social media or at least reducing my use of it, I feel stronger and better. Honestly, to serve the Lord is my goal. I love that you said have caution when consuming any form of media. To anyone who reads this, please examine your life if you think that any media. Music, art, cartoons, anime, and movies is influencing your actions. Pray that God reveals what causes you to fall. I think anime was one of those things for me. I've just recently cut it off, but I've decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No, no turning back. That's an awesome thing, and I think for each and every individual person, it's a different journey. For some people, the sort of stuff that they see doesn't bother them, doesn't tempt them, doesn't lead them down the wrong path. But for others, the things can trigger them and lead them down the wrong path. And it's between you and God and where your heart is with God, what you allow into yourself. And just remember Jesus' words that it's not what you put into the body that corrupts you, but what comes out of the body. So you must be careful that inside is pure so that you can resist those temptations when they come your way. Alright guys, next up, I've got a comment here from my boring channel. Hey, great video, God bless. Quick question, could I have a shout out please? I'm currently in a sub war. Alright guy, so um, go sub to my boring channel guys. Uh, he asked for a uh, shout out, here's my shout out to him. And he's uh, commented on quite a my, few of my videos before, so I really appreciate that. So yeah. <laughs> and then... Um, I've got another comment over here by uh, Ronald Rodriguez. God bless you. Thank you very much for the video. Just as My Hero Academia, I've collected manga and watched their animated adaptation. Yet I felt conflicted with the demonic imagery and bad influences it depicts. I'm a Protestant Christian, and although I'm not fully engrossed with the anime I watch or the manga I collect and read, I don't want to be a hypocrite to my faith in the Lord. A prime example of said feelings of guilt is the manga anime Devil Man by Go Nagi. Okay, I've never watched that one, guys, so I can't comment, but just by the title alone, it sounds a bit uh, dark. I've always interpreted evil versus... I've always interpreted as evil versus evil. Although I appreciate the talented art, albeit raunchy, heavily symbolic and evil, I don't incorporate it into my everyday life. Apologies for the latter mentioned. I want to find various perspectives from fellow Christians who have either similar... Uh, varied response or varied responses of this issue, which recently dawned on me to respond. So yeah, guys, um, like I was saying in the previous one, it really depends on the person, but at the same time, you need to be careful what you're exposing yourself to. So if you can tell it's bad and you continue to watch it regardless, I don't think that's a good thing. But if you can see that it's got some redeeming qualities and you 
your faith is growing stronger as a result of it, then I think there is a reason that you can watch it. But just be very, very careful. So then I got a comment from Boeing on my video r slash funny, where he says, cool video, bro. Hit the like and subscribe button. Looking forward to support each other. Yeah, man. Uh, you've got some pretty cool videos yourself. It's awesome to uh, have you checking out the channel. Thank you very much. And then we've got a comment from Heatherin, who is an amazing voice actress, guys. If uh, you need any voice acting work done, go check her out. She's got a very cool YouTube channel, and she says, Oh my gosh, I didn't know you uploaded on YouTube. <laughs> and she says a statement which I don't agree with. I'm an idiot. Lol. She's not an idiot, guys. <laughs> she actually uh, has an Instagram account as well that I follow her on, and she often posts very inciting posts on there. So go and give her a check out. And then I've got a comment from KJS257 Ink Pen. Can you do a Sonic X a Christian perspective? So I've never seen Sonic X. Um, I used to watch the original Sonic cartoon when I was very small. The one, I don't know if it's the original one, but the one where Sonic and his friends are all freedom fighters and Dr. Robotnik was still Dr. Robotnik and not Dr. Eggman. So I used to really enjoy that. But um, I can give Sonic X a check out. I don't know when I'll get to it because things are really hectic for me at the moment, but I'll do that as when I can. Yeah, sounds cool. Then I've got a comment from um, Starbound. Can you do a Christian's perspective on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Um, I don't think I'll be doing that. I've heard not too good things about it, so I don't know. Uh, I've heard some people like it, some people don't, but a couple of close, trusted friends of mine have said that it's not too good, so... I don't think I'll be watching it. Sorry about that. Um, my hero, I got a comment on my one. <laughs> I got a comment on my my hero video over here from Andre Gureva. This is pretty well done, and I'm curious if you did more for other anime shows as well. Actually, yes. And in the top of this video, in the i card over there, I'll put a link to my Christian's Perspective playlist, where you guys can go and have a check out and see all the different Christian's Perspective videos I've done. I've done it on games, I've done it on anime, and I've done it on just general topics. It's really something that I love to do. It's a bit of a passion project for me, so yeah. Got a comment from my boring channel. There's he again. Remember guys, he's in the sub war. If you can help him out, that would be awesome. He says, why am I thoroughly enjoying a Minecraft video in 2020? Great video and God bless. Awesome, man. I'm so glad to hear that you're enjoying a Minecraft video. And yeah, 2020, yeah. Minecraft's been around for a long, long time now. I bet a lot of people didn't expect it to last as long as it has when it first started. And it's really been a game that's formed a large portion of my life over the last few years. And like when I joined the Diamond Society, and that was an awesome time for me. And unfortunately, I had to leave it because uh, I couldn't keep up with producing the amount of videos at the time that they were wanting us to produce. Uh, but yeah, it was just an awesome time for me. I really enjoyed it. And I've still, as you can see, enjoyed Minecraft to this day, especially the exploration and building aspects. And there's just so many different ways that you can play Minecraft and so many different niches that it can fit into. Right, then I've got a comment from Drank Pot. I have this strange feeling of deja vu. Lol, great video as always. I'm not too sure what deja, what triggered his deja or her deja vu there, but <laughs> I'm glad that they enjoyed the video. All right, and then another comment from Dragpot. Love the video. It always makes me happy to see new content from you in my feed. Oh, man, it always makes me happy to make new content for you guys. Just absolutely love the, the people that watch my videos, and you guys always have such positive and nice things to say. It really, really makes my day when I see that sort of thing. All right, and then we've got a comment from my boring channel once again. Guys, go help them out. <laughs> and great, hey, great vid. God bless. Thank you very much for that. And sorry if I'm calling you a him and you're a she. I, I don't know. It's just because I'm a guy, I tend to call people him. So, but if you're a she, I'm sorry about that. Uh, Griff MC, one of my old mates from Diamond Society. The latter one, oh my word. And yes, that's a reference to my no, 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 yes video where these people had left their kids unattended and they basically dropped a ladder on each other for fun. So yeah, that was hectic. And I can see why he said, oh my word there. And then my old pal, BC300Z. Oh man, it's been way too long since we've talked, but how are you doing? I really hope we can catch up sometime. He says, ha 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 ha. I'm glad he had got a good laugh out of that video. All 
right, and we got another comment here from uh, my boring channel. Great video, dude. God bless. Thanks, man. Really appreciate that. Got a comment from Jacob Gonzalez. First, I love God and my family, but should I not, not watch Naruto shows? That's really largely up to you, man. How do you feel when you watch it? What do you think that God says to you when you watch Naruto? Do you think that he talks to you in your heart? And does he show you that can you get this like unease in you when you're watching this that you can tell that it's not something that you should be doing, not something you should be partaking in? Then you should definitely leave it alone and stay as far away as possible from it. But if you feel, oh my gosh, this show is amazing, and when I watched it, I absolutely loved it. And you can see that there are bad things in it, but the good things in it outweigh the bad, and good always wins in the end, and that sort of thing. Then definitely go for it. If, if it edifies you and builds you up and brings you closer to God, I don't see what's wrong with it. And yes, I love God too, man. All right. Then we got a comment here on my snapshot preview for 1.16. Lacus123 just came across your channel and I was surprised you didn't have more than 5,000 subscribers because you really deserve that. Man, that that is, it's just, thank you. That, that's such an awesome comment. I really appreciate it. It's, you know, I put a lot of effort into these videos and I'm glad to see that gets acknowledged. But at the same time, I'm happy with what I have. If God wants me to have more, then he'll make me have more. If he wants me to have less, then he'll make me have less. You know, it's just just where I am at this moment and I absolutely love that I'm just getting viewers that watch my videos and really seem to enjoy them and, and take it from take enjoyment from them. And not only that, but that also gets the the sense and the feeling of, you know, in the last month or so I've gained over a hundred subscribers. And that is just so amazing. Thank you guys so much. I did not expect to be at 600 subscribers by this time this year, and that's it's just such a blessing. If I have a look at where I'm up to right now, um, as of making this video, I'm at 641 subscribers. Guys, thank you so much for everyone that's subscribed, for everyone that's left likes on the video, and that watches the video all the time. It's really, really awesome, and especially for you, those of you that leave comments down below. I love interacting with you guys. I love talking to you guys. And, finding out what you think and your opinions on things. So thank you. Big, big, huge thank you. All right, and then we've got a comment from Neko, 518. Ooh, animation. <laughs> the animation looks sweet, and I bet you can probs get new potions from food, and perhaps from things like the fungi. I wish that was so, man. That would be so amazing if that was an extra feature. Like they added a, a nether mushroom soup with the new fungi that they've brought in. That would be really cool. And new potion effects. That would be really cool as well. Then I got a comment from a free potato twelve. Yo with ice, a long time fan yet. Have you ever thought of streaming? Guys, I stream occasionally and I used to stream a lot more than what I do now, but recently whenever I've been streaming, the stream really lags behind and people say that the video is constantly the stream is constantly lagging and I don't know how to fix that. My technical knowledge in streaming is not really that great. So if any of you can help me out with that, that, that would be awesome. All right, then I've got a comment here on my Suteke Dene, arranged by Eriton, which is a, a song video that I did. And let me just land here, because I see I've come across a uh, desert, a desert uh, pyramid. Let's see what we can find down here. All right, here we go. Uh, careful not to trigger the TNT, because I'd like to keep that for myself to... Uh, mine for some netherite with TNT to help me uh, expedite the process. In this chest, I get some golden horse arm and some gunpowder. Awesome for fireworks. I'll take the bones as well and spider eye. Oh, I just threw my gunpowder. There we go. Right now, I've got some iron in here. I was really hoping for some nice enchanted books. Unfortunately, oh, there we go. There's an oh, not back to Not that great, but oh well. Better than nothing, I suppose. Alright, let's take the gunpowder and the bones there. And Bane of Arthropods. Oh, dang. All right. Well, bit of a bust here, but we have got a nice comment to come back to here. You have a great voice, dude. You know what I would make? Uh, you know what would make it better, though? Play your voice over your voice to add a harmonizing effect and add some reverb. That's that would sound epic. God bless. All right, man. I'll definitely do that for the next uh, song video I do, and uh, try and get that bit of a harmonizing effect and go for some reverb. I think that that could be pretty awesome.
And then I get a comment from Sophie Putty over here with a whole bunch of clapping hands and two hearts. Thank you so much. I'm really glad you enjoyed the song. We got a comment on my Pokemon Platinum episode 10 from Blue Sheep over here. Nice video. Keep up the good work. Thank you, man. I really uh, am so glad that you enjoyed the video so much. Um, and uh, soon should, if it's not already up, have more videos coming for Pokemon. So hope you enjoy those, man. Got a comment on Koino Kotachi, a silent voice. Kevin Guzman, what about the seven deadly sins? Now, at first I was like, oh, the seven deadly sins. <laughs> Gluttony, sloth, greed, adverse, and whatnot. But then I realized, no, that's an anime. <laughs> and I haven't seen that anime, so unfortunately I can't comment on it. Maybe those of you guys that have seen it can go and help him out. He's on the Koino Kotachi, a silent voice. He's commented there. Tell him what you think of that anime. But unfortunately, I haven't seen that video, so... Alright, and then I've got a comment over here on my Matthew 22, 23, and 24. This man is the definition of good YouTuber. Keep up the good work, dude. God bless. Thank you so much. And once again, go help my boring channel on a sub <laughs> Alright. Blue Sheep, I always enjoy your videos and content. Thank you, man. I love making these videos and content for you guys. It really is a big passion project for me. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, next up, we are getting a bit of lag. Um, okay, let me try. I'm not too sure what to do here yeah, because my map's not filling in. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we can try and land without crashing because we don't want to fall into the ocean and die. Oh, we are underground. That is not good. Okay, let me try and get out of here before I suffocate. Okay, we've... Oh, oh, we are underground. Okay, can we dig out of here? Yes, we are out. Okay, we are safe. I think we're safe. Yes, I think we're safe. Okay. Let me try and land as safely... Oh, oh, no. Guess I'll be right back, guys. All right. Managed to find my stuff once again. Uh, get rid of that map. I don't need it anymore. Collect all my stuff up here. And then we can uh, carry on my journey to fill in the map. Alright, let's just uh, pop this armor on, I think, so we can free up space in our inventory to keep collecting stuff. Um, I've actually got the spare pair of elytra on at the moment. So, what happened to my other spare pair? Where did that... Uh, but let me just put this, yeah, there we go. Put my old one on, and uh, don't need that pressure plate. And let's just get ourselves organized. There we go. Oh, wrong map. Wrong map. Is that the right map? That's the right map. And yo, that lag really messed us up there. Okay. Anyway, let's carry on, guys. So I've got a comment here for the Should you should Christians Watch Anime and Christians Perspective video. For all of you lazy people, it depends. Basically, if you want to know if uh, violent acts are wrong, not... Sorry, if you watch it and know violent acts are wrong, not a sin. If it makes you want to kill someone, it's a sin. But I highly doubt most people who watch anime want to harm people, so it's not a sin. So basically, they summed up my video with a TLDR, Too Long Didn't Read, or I guess it would be a TLDW, Too Long Didn't Watch. But uh, thank you for that. But also, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But not just on violent acts, also for things like sexual immorality, or untruthfulness, or just basically any of the sins. Blasphemy, for instance, is a big one that people often overlook, and that is a, a major sin. Then I got a comment on from the Crazy Italian on Pokemon Platinum Episode 9. First comment, very nice work. Big crazy like for you. I hope you might stop by my channel if you have time. No pressure, have a good week. And I did indeed stop by his channel and left a comment on one of his videos. So thank you for that, man. I appreciate it. Emmanuel R. de Sosa, so unexpected, and that was a my no, 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 yes video. And indeed, a lot of those things in that uh, video are unexpected. All right, and then we've got a video over, uh, a comment over here from Seveki Gamer, I believe it is. I'm from Brazil, and I searched this kind of video many times. It's because my family, my mom, and my grandma have problems with Naruto. I've already said to my mom about the Naruto's message, but she always finds some bad thing. Man, I have some idea about this video. Thank you, dude, for making this video. God bless you. If Naruto is evil, he loses. Because you, because it's taught taught me only good things. Sorry if my English is bad. I'm 15 years old. 
God bless you, dude. Thanks for this video. Dude, you're from Brazil. I don't blame you for your English. You are doing amazing. Like, I can pretty much only speak English and Afrikaans. And I cannot speak your language at all. So you speaking my language much better than I can speak yours. So carry on, dude. Thank you so much for the kind comments. I really appreciate it. Ruby 2 Stramitta says, what do you think about the Bleach anime? Please give me an opinion. And uh, I replied to him, I tried watching it, but didn't pick up good feelings from it in the first couple of episodes, so I stopped watching. I don't know about enough about it to give a good uh, uh, analysis on it, though. So, yeah, guys, if you want me to check out Bleach anime, unfortunately, I don't know too much about it. I just got uneasy vibes from it, and I'm going to take a little sleep in this bed if I can. Unfortunately, there are some mobs around. So let's just uh, put on our armor over here before we go and uh, take them out so that we can get some snoozles. There we go, that's one skeleton taken down. And over there is another. Nice. All right, we managed to take those skeletons out. Sorry, Mr. Cow, I need to go to sleeps. And I should have really closed that door because I think we are in for a rude awakening in the morning. Ah, we are indeed. Hello, sir. Okay. All right, out we go. Let's uh, just look around this video for uh, this video, this village for a bit as uh, we carry on reading. Should Christians play games? A Christian perspective video. Moncastry Studios leaves. Uh, my personal opinion is that games are great when played in moderation, and when good and moral games are played. I love running into somebody who brings a Christian perspective to entertainment, though. I also run a YouTube channel focused on bringing a Christian perspective to gaming, movies, etc. What kind of games do you like to play? I like to play Minecraft, <laughs> as you can see here. I also like to play RTSs and RPGs. Those are my most favorite types of games. All right. Chris TV Xenoverse commented on Should Christians Watch Anime? A Christian's Perspective. Yeah, my friend watches anime. Awesome. All right. My Hero, A Christian's Perspective. Sam says... So, as a Christian, I can watch MHA, which is My Hero Academia. Yes, I don't see too much wrong with it. Maybe if you have a bit of a problem with pornography and lusting over women, there are some very revealing outfits in that anime. Although, if it's not something that affects you personally, it's not too bad. So, I wouldn't worry about that too much. But, um, overall, it's got a very good message to it. Good always triumphs over evil, as far as I can see. And, yeah. Alright, should Christians watch anime? A Christian's perspective video. It's Zake Affim. So, is watching anime a sin? I'm asking this question because I don't really get the video. I'm just a kid. I just want to know. So, um, I think EUP has replied to me. Yeah, no, it's just like watching a show or reading books. Watching a show is not a sin, but it is a sin if you get addicted to it. So, I agree with that there. So, he got a nice reply from someone. And guys, please, if you want to comment and reply to people in the comments, go ahead. It's awesome to see a community being built and to see you guys helping each other out with things and being nice and civil to each other. That's that's the kind of community we want here. Thank you so much for upholding those values. All right. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. And that is from White, uh, White Nicks in Laser. And it, White Nikes. There we go. White Nikes in Laser. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, dude, I struggled with your name a bit there, but yes, indeed, that is a very, very powerful verse, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, indeed, that love of the world that God had for each and every one of us is such an important thing. All right, and over here, we've got a comment from Studio Original. Uh, I think anime can be enjoyed by anyone. Why is this even a question? Well, unfortunately, Studio Original, this is a question that people have. This is a real concern that people have, and uh, they might not be as knowledgeable in the area as you are. And it's a very common thing that when you get to be knowledgeable in an area, you expect everybody else to be knowledgeable in that area as well. But a lot of people don't have that same background as you do, and you'd be surprised how many people don't know things, and also how much you yourself don't know. The quicker people can realize how little we all know individually and how much we can benefit from sharing knowledge and growing as a group, the better in my opinion. And I think from the views of that video, which is the second highest viewed video on my channel, with close to 8,000 views now, it shows that it is a question that people want an answer to. Alright, I've got a uh, comment here from Nicholas Corton. 
The series is in three parts, and you talk about the Trinity in this third and final part of the series. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> Dude, I wish I could agree with you there, but I would have to say that's a God incidence. I honestly didn't plan that. And I think, if anything, it's something that God must have planned through me because I, I didn't intend that, but it's awesome that that happened that way. Another comment from Nicholas Corson. Much of Naruto's religious themes are centered around Eastern religions, such as Shinto and Buddhism. But I also like how they integrate Western religions, such as Christianity and Judaism, in order to bolster the story. Indeed. So there's a lot of references to Eastern religions in Naruto, but there's a lot of good Christian principles as well. It's having that discernment to see the good in it that is valuable when watching through any form of media, not just Naruto and not just anime. Just through anything you watch and allow into yourself, you need to have that discerning eye to pick out the good and learn from it and learn what is wrong also. Got a comment here from Exilus on should Christians watch anime? The Lord, when he saved me years ago, gave me a discerning of spirits. I thank him for saving me. I just want people to know one thing. The Lord doesn't take you away from what you, you call your friends. A lot of anime to me is very demon-influenced. Demon Not sure how to say that so everyone understands. But the more I back away from media today, the more I see what's going on. I believe the devil will use any sort of media to try and stray a Christian off their path. Now, I'm not saying every single anime is terrible and that it's a complete, completely worthless or anything. I'm just saying be careful. If you give the devil an inch, he'll take a mile. I know that from experience. Also, like a lot of people, I really wish to make a truly Christian-friendly anime or manga. I know it will be hard. <laughs> He's got little crossed out eyes over here. But I know with the strength of the Lord and Him guiding me through the power of the Holy Spirit, it is possible. Because all things are possible through our Lord Jesus Christ. P.S. I'm terribly sorry if I feel like I explained what I was trying to say wrong. I'm really bad at explaining things at times, and I really hope to help at least one person here. Alright guys, so that's another thing that the Christian community really needs a lot more of, and it looks like we're getting a bit more lag here, just a second. Okay, it looks like it's cleared up. Okay, so that's the thing that the Christian community needs a lot more of, and that's really well-written anime, really well-written movies, really well-written books and games, just christian oriented games, books, movies, that really talk to the generation that we're in now, and don't exclude like good storytelling for the sake of moral preaching because uh, far too many Christian books and, and shows and games focus so much on the preaching that they forget the point of the game is to have fun or the point of the movie is entertainment. Yes, include the moral side of it, but don't forget the main driving cause of it itself, which is to be a good game or a good movie. Make that first and add on to it so that your end product will be greater than the secular ones. Because if you can have an amazing movie with a good message on top of it, how much better is that than an amazing movie with a terrible message? Arath Jasso, can you do a Christian perspective on Ruby or Black Fox? Uh, I've never seen either of those. If any of you guys can put input into either of those, that would be awesome. Got a comment here from... Kaxran, I believe that's how you say it, on Naruto Christian's perspective. Wow, this is powerful. I'm glad you found it powerful, man. And he says, I draw anime, but I don't watch it. On Should Christians watch anime? I also do quite a bit of drawing, guys, of anime. I really, really enjoy it, so I can understand. It's a beautiful art style. Very, very expressive. You can get so expressive in it compared to other art styles. Um, then we get over here to Perpetuant. On Naruto Christian's perspective. Naruto from a Christian's perspective. They are all weak to a master Christian and vulnerable to a baby Christian as long as they are genuine Christians. Why? Do you remember how Jesus was asked to leave a region because he caused a demon possessed man to be made free? That's how it would be. Every person in that world would be purged. Wow. That's a bit, uh, bit hectic. I don't think Jesus went around purging people, but uh, he certainly did go around healing people. So you could say he, every person in that area would be healed or every person in that area would be delivered. That's what Jesus went. In fact, when uh, when two of his disciples said, Lord, just bring fire down on them and eradicate them, he said, no, you have the wrong spirit in you. So I, do, I don't believe that's the right spirit there. And then we got over here, Winged Warrior. Oh, I'll wait for you. And this was on my video that I said goodbye for a while because I had a lot of life commitments to take care of at that time. And just the support that I received on that video from a lot of you 
really, really was awesome. Got another one from a free potato over here. It's cool, man. Just do your thing first. We can wait. God bless. From Galaxy. It's okay, dude. We, your fans, will be here waiting upon your return. Until then, we will be your protectors of your great kingdom. Awesome, guys. Thank you. And it's God's kingdom, not mine, though. My boring channel. I'll wait for you, bro. God bless you. Awesome. Once again, guys, go help out my boring channel. Saved by grace. I'll still be here, brother in Christ. Awesome to hear it. I hope you are. <laughs> Drang pot. I'm sure everyone understands. Life happens. I'll be saying stub, subbed and wait until you return. Take care, man, and do what you gotta do. Alright, guys. So, that's been a whole bunch of summing up of a whole bunch of comments I've received. And, um, yeah, just the overwhelming support that you guys have been giving me and the huge rise in my subscribers lately. I just, I don't know how to thank you guys for it. You guys are really, really awesome. And I value each and every one of you. It's not often that I get to just stop by and say thank you so much uh, for everything that you do for the channel, for those of you guys that have supported it and shared it with your friends and told people about it. Thank you so much. I know a couple of you have said to me in private chats that you've done that, and it really means the world to me that you would do something like that for my channel. Also, for those of you that have just left comments and engaged in the community on this channel, it's just so awesome and it's really a positive environment and a lot of YouTube is very toxic and doesn't have a safe space and that's really what I want this channel to be for people is a safe space that they can come to where they can just air themselves and just relax and enjoy themselves watch some good content hopefully good content if you guys have any suggestions for me on how can I improve the content on this channel let me know what can I do to make it better? Can I? Is, does my editing skills need to improve? Do I need to have more vibrance and buoyancy and boisterousness as I do my videos? What do you want to see? And we just completed this map. <laughs> awesome. So that's another map to add to the pile back at the cathedral. So yeah, guys, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. As you see, I do read them. I do get to them. Um, even if I don't reply straight away, I have read them and I do value them. It's just sometimes I'm a very introverted person. So it's easy to talk to a camera, but when I know I'm talking to a person on the other side, it's not that easy. So yeah, it's a thing that YouTube has really actually helped me out a lot with is being able to talk to people. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, my name is Athais. Good night and God bless. Bye for now.